Starting on the pole, it's the 14 of Edward Bell, and to his outside, the car number one is Chris Soren. Inside row two, the 35W is Wally Butler, and to his outside, the 11 is Dexter, Dexter rather, Dexter Bergson. Inside row three is Eric Claussen in the 31, and his running mate on row three is the four of Eric Johnson. On the back, it's Chris Unran. I'm gonna turn things over to Mr. Lightning Sprint right now for the race action. Getting set to go, 1,000 cc motorcycle engines on board of these particular vehicles. These really fly. Right away, unable to get that engine lit up properly. Your leader, the direct by number one of Chris Soren. That is a Henchcraft chassis. Second spot, the 11 is Dexter DeBerkston. Hey, we want to say thanks to Phil Rempel from Sinex for waving the green flag for that heat race. It's going right now. Thank you. These particular motorcycle engines turn about 14,000 RPM and last an awful long time. These are extremely fast race cars with lap times rivaling that of the late models. Take a look at the top side of the racetrack. That car is flying. That's how fast it's going. The 27 car out of the Winkler area, Chris Unra has the Precision Land Solutions machine just a cooking. Here comes the 35W on the high side around to take a look around the number one of Chris Soren. 35W is Wally Butler sponsored by Hyundai. Great racing for second and third. Another good battle for fourth and fifth. Edward Bell in the Bell's Property Services 14 is currently fourth. The Todd's Electric number 11 is Dexter DeBerkston. He is currently in the fifth spot. The 35W of Wally Butler gets a little bit sideways out of turn two and loses some ground to the direct by number one of Chris Soren. But right now, the pioneer Precision Land Solutions number 27 of Chris Unra looks absolutely unbelievable here in Lightning Sprint Heat number one. A little bit of smoke now from the 27 car, but just in time. Checkered flag is out. Well, if you're gonna start to smoke, probably better on the last lap than the first, Pat. Well, you say those engines last a long time, but I was starting to wonder. Well, 10 laps is a long time. Well, it could be. Those things were flying today. Well, we've got, uh, what do we got coming up next? Another heat of lightning sprints. I'm gonna let you do the honors on that one too, since you're the knower of all things lightning. Lightning Sprint Heat number two coming up shortly right here at Red River Co-op Speedway. Many thanks going out to Transtech Industries. Transtech Industries is home to one of Canada's largest automotive powertrain remanufacturing centers. They provide a superior level of service that exceeds the industry standard. All right, here's your lineup. Multi-time champion on the pole. This is the 2R of Roland Bernard. Outside the 13T is Alan Trasinski. Row two inside the three is Al Giesbrecht. Outside the 33 is Murray Temple. Murray also races a full-size sprint car. Inside row three, the 43, Robert Livingstone, and the 10 is Alex Treksinski. Well, Roland Bernard in the 2R car flying 
He has won several championships in the Northern Lightning Sprint Association, a former go-kart racer in the HVAC Group 2R. The 13 T is Alan Trasinski. He is in the second spot, being pursued by the Henchcraft, the number 33. That is Murray Temple. Temple started fourth and is now third here in Lightning Sprint Heat number two. Now these engines must remain factory stock. They produce about 185 horsepower in a car that weighs about 750 pounds, so a great power to weight ratio. They actually use a motorcycle drive chain rather than a drive shaft. They do retain the original six-speed motorcycle transmission. However, they only use one gear during race periods. Generally, they will start off in second gear out of turn four when the green flag drops. They will shift up to third gear, and then it's hammer down for the rest of the race. Roland Bernard in the HVAC Group 2R Simply Flying. He is also sponsored by Ward Trucking. Well, Roland Bernard's go kart, kart experience rather is really helping him out here. He is silky smooth in the Ward Trucking HVAC Group 2R. Keeping that car very nice and steady through the corners is Roland Bernard as he takes the white flag. The 33 of Murray Temple rolling up on the back of the 13 car now of Alan Trasinski. Good race for second and third place. Your leader already coming out of turn four. And he'll take the checkered flag. That'll do it for the Temple 2R. Second spot goes to the 13T. That is Alan Trasinski. Third is Murray Temple in the 33 car.